In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we're going to show you two ways in which you can remove the background to a photograph when you're working in the guided area. You can also do this in other areas and we'll have other tutorials dealing with that. But if you want to simply use the guided area, there are two methods you can use. We're going to cover the first method in this tutorial and the second method in the following tutorial. So we go to the guided button at the very top and it reminds me that it will save a copy of my image. If you don't want to see this nag screen again, click on don't show. I'll click on OK instead and it takes me to my guided area. It basically opens up the panel on the left side. Now when I'm in the panel on the left side, I have several divisions and then tools under each of them. We're going to be looking at the Improve Remove division and Background Removal. Now you can remove more than the background. You can actually move the, the person. You can take him out. But basically that's what it's labeled and that's what it's designed for. So we'll keep the term. Background removal. I'm going to click on it and see what we get. When we do this, we have two tabs, which are two different approaches to choosing the area that you want to remove. One is a lasso and one is a brush. So let's do the brush first. I'm going to click on the brush here. When I click on this tab, I see in the top part I have three buttons. I have one that's kind of an intelligent option for a prominent object, and this guy is a great candidate for that kind of thing. And so let's try that first. I'm just going to click on it and instantly it identified him because he's so different from everything else in the photograph that boom, I have my option. Now I can either remove the selected area, I can take him out, or the unselected area, I'll do that. I'll click apply. And as quickly as that, I removed the background. Very nice. I'll click on clear to start over again. The second option I have is I can click on either the minus brush or the plus brush. I'll click on the plus brush and that will give me an icon here. I can control the size by using the slider or I can control the size if I have a scroll mouse. I can make it larger or smaller. Now here we're going to select the area that we want to remove. And so it's intelligent. It will try it to take uh, similar looking pixels. And I've got a few issues going on here. I'll show you more about them in a moment. I'm going to make it smaller. We'll go around his head. And try to get his jacket. Now, I've made a bunch of big goofs. If I want to add things back in, I can go over here and, and click the opposite. But what I'm going to do is hold the Alt key down. And you watch my cursor will change from a plus to a minus. And this is a very easy way to go back and forth between too much and not enough. So I'm either holding the Alt key down or I'm letting the plus key do the work. So plus is there and Alt and using the mouse is there. Now we don't have to be absolutely precise. I'll show you why in a moment. So we'll take this out and we'll get a little more of his jacket there. Okay, I'm holding the Alt key down to restore the man here. That's pretty good. Okay, now it's not perfect. But what I'm going to do then is I'm going to say I want to remove the selected area in this case and click Apply. Now, now I have this box light up below. I can do a brush, an edge brush. I can do a foreground brush or a background brush. Basically, it's to add or remove. So I'm going to click my zoom tool, zoom in here where we've cut into his face and I'll do a plus and we're going to add on where we do this. Now if I do too much, if I just go out here like this and oh I don't want that, again I'm holding the Alt key down, we'll brush here too and we just change it. So you can easily go, I think I want well, to, let's do his shoulder again. I cut off part of his shoulder. So uh, I'm back on the settings over here. I can't have my hand or magnifying glass active. I'll click here. And we're going to restore a bit of his shoulder. So in here I have too much, so I'll hit the Alt key. We're going to remove a little under his beard. 
and it's that easy to fine tune this particular tool when you're using this. So I'll go back to uh, full scale and basically we with a little adjustments we're finished with this. Now the interesting thing is that when you're done you click on save as it will want you to save the image as a modified one and you can type in any file name you want to. I'll just add some threes there. Click OK. And then it says the photo was saved to the background removal gallery and is available in the photo composer. What in the world is that about? What it means is it will also take a copy of it and put it in a special folder. So you have a tool called photo composer that allows you to specifically add backgrounds and foregrounds and it's now available there whenever you want to use it. You can delete it but it's a copy of it in a special place is basically what it is. So that's the first of the two methods. In the next tutorial we'll show you the second of the two methods using the lasso and why that's sometimes better, sometimes maybe not.